Here with reaction to all of this is the author of this incredible new book, by the way, Defeating Big Government Socialism. I never thought it would get this bad this fast, but it has. Former Speaker of the House, Fox News contributor, Newt Gingrich. Uh, we've got a very tight race. What's fascinating about this race, just objectively, all three candidates tried to claim the MAGA mantle. All three of them ran as Trump candidates. Whether, and Oz got the endorsement, but they all still were clinging to the MAGA mantle. Your thoughts on that? Well, first of all, I think there's not much room in most of the Republican Party for an anti-Trump candidate. So I think just to survive, <clears throat> people are going to run somewhere in the shadow of Trump, mostly hoping for his endorsement, which, of course, Dr. Oz got. But I think there's also a big story on the other side. The Democrats in nominating Fetterman are nominating somebody who is a self-described uh, Barry uh, Senator Sanders socialist, a man who, as chairman of the Parole Commission, released as many criminals as he could and felt badly that he couldn't get more criminals out of prison, and a man who has promised to raise taxes on virtually every Pennsylvania family. So the choice this fall, whoever wins uh, in the primary, uh, is going to be extraordinarily stark, and I suspect the Republicans are going to keep the seat. Uh, I think for tonight, I don't know enough to, to, to say for sure. If, in fact, what we're seeing so far is mostly Western Pennsylvania, then that would be McCormick's strength. Uh, and we'll see Oz get stronger and Barnett get stronger as the night goes on. The biggest single county for Republicans in plurality is uh, Lancaster, and Lancaster has had a, mis a mistake in how they counted the, uh, the write-in ballots, so they may take a day or two to actually report. It's conceivable that this uh, will take a few hours to sort out, uh, but I think uh, McCormick's done very well. Uh, particularly for not having been endorsed by Trump. Oz has come on strong. And that in all fairness, Kathy Barnett in the last two weeks has had an amazing surge uh, from a position that no one would have expected. So whoever we nominate, I think, is going to be such a clear alternative to Fetterman uh, that we will almost certainly keep the seat this fall. You don't have a, do you have a problem with the, the, the <clears throat> number of incendiary comments of Kathy? To me, I, 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 I sure. would find that in a general election very difficult to overcome, but that's only my point of view. Well, look, I think, I think in the general election, if she's the nominee, the question will be who's more extreme. And Fetterman has so many things that he's already on the extreme left that it will be a very strange race between two people who each have a lot of things to defend. Against either McCormick or against Dr. Oz, I think that uh, Fetterman is just toast. Either one of them, I, I think, will beat him and beat him pretty handily because the choice will just be so clear. Uh, uh, I think of the two, frankly, Dr. Oz is stronger in a general election, uh, and I think that Trump's nomination, as we see the rural counties come in, uh, we'll see what happens. If you remember, in Ohio just a little while ago, uh, as the Republican primary went on, some of the city counties uh, went for somebody else, but the more small towns and the more rural counties all went overwhelmingly for the Trump uh, candidate. And I think you may see the same thing happen here as the night goes on. What does it say? Donald Trump came into the night 58 and 1 in endorsements. <clears throat> now it was, he's 75 and 1. That's a pretty good record. Well, there's no question that. Uh, whether you like Trump or dislike Trump is a matter of, of just history. No modern political leader has dominated his party outside of office on the scale that Trump has. Uh, and he has a following in the Republican Party. He's brought in an entire generation of people who were not Republicans six or seven years ago wow. who now are part of the Republican Party. It's an amazing well, it's a achievement. Two-point race with 51 percent of the vote in. We still got a long way to go. Fascinating uh, primary for sure, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. We have more hand.